Are you currently in the market for a new home or are you a first time home buyer? In this video, I'm going to go over the top tax deductions related to home ownership under the new tax law. Hey guys, Steve Lee here from Simply Tax. Congratulations if you purchased your first home or are in the market for your first home purchase. In this video, I'm gonna go over the top tax deductions related to home ownership. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as I'm gonna to continue to post great content related to any changes in the tax law related to being a homeowner or any tax saving strategies that apply to you or your family. So, if you took out a mortgage to purchase your home, your monthly mortgage payment will typically consist of the following three items. Principal, mortgage interest, and real estate taxes placed into escrow. Out of these three items, you can only deduct two of the items, that is mortgage interest and real estate taxes paid. Under the new tax law, for mortgages taken out after December 15, 2017, you can deduct the mortgage interest paid up to, for mortgages up to $750,000. So, for example, if your total mortgage on your home is $750,000 or less, you can deduct 100% of the mortgage interest paid. But, let's say you took out a mortgage greater than $750,000. Let's say you took out a million dollar mortgage. Then, you can only deduct 75% of the mortgage interest paid on that million dollar home with that million dollar mortgage. Remember, this new tax law only relates to primary and secondary residences. It does not relate to rental properties. So for all you landlords out there, you can continue to deduct 100% of the mortgage interest paid on all your rental properties. A second tax deduction relates to real estate taxes paid. Most mortgage lenders will collect a monthly amount dedicated to the real estate taxes due on your home. They'll put that monthly amount into an escrow account and when it's time to pay those real estate taxes, the mortgage company will pull out from that escrow account and pay the real estate taxes due for you. So where do both of these tax deductions go? They're both considered itemized deductions, which goes on the Schedule A of your Form 1040 at tax time. At the end of each year, your mortgage company should issue you a Form 1098, which is called the Mortgage Interest Statement. On this statement, you will see the total amount of mortgage interest you paid in the previous calendar year and sometimes the total amount of real estate taxes you paid on your residence. If that Form 1098 does not show how much in real estate taxes you paid in the previous year, you can always go to your county assessor's website and pull that information so you can put it onto your tax return and get the tax deduction that's rightfully due to you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Congratulations again if you purchased your first home. Also, congratulations if you're in the market for your first home. Please remember to hit the subscribe button below as I'm gonna to continue to post great content related to any tax law changes or any tax saving strategies related to you or your family. Also, please do not forget to leave any questions or comments below. And last but not least, always remember to keep hustling.